Hello everybody. So today I wanted to show you how you can install the Opera web browser on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer so that you can use it to browse the web. Now the current version of me making this video is version 117.0.5408.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0
on the desktop and the mobile versions of the Opera browser. And you can have the free and unlimited browser AI seamlessly integrated into your browser. They also have built-in messengers where you can enjoy your favorite messengers and social apps while browsing the web, such as WhatsApp, Instagram, Twitter, and also more that are built right into the sidebar over on the left side. And then if I keep going down, you'll see they have even more features. They have a free and a pro VPN where you can browse privately using their built-in free VPN, or you can subscribe to the Pro to get enhanced protection on your device. They also have an ad blocker that'll get rid of any of those distractions, and it'll protect your privacy and speed up your browsing for both mobile and desktop. So that's going to be great if you also happen to use this on your Android phone, your iPhone, an iPad, an Android tablet, any of those devices, this is going to work great for. And then if I keep going down, you'll see they have five different things that they're able to do where they can do a flow file sharing where you instantly send files, links, and notes between your devices. As we had mentioned earlier, where you can sync it seamlessly between Windows, Chromebook, Mac, Linux, iOS, Android, any of those devices is going to work great for. And then they also have a music player where you can have a world of music and podcasts right at your fingertips, built right into the browser. And then if I keep going, of course, syncing your data between all your devices. And then they also have pin boards where you can save web content easily and also share it visually just by clicking on the little icon right up there once it's installed. And then if I keep going, they have the Opera Wallet, which makes secure crypto transactions with a built-in crypto wallet. So that's pretty nice too. So if you keep going down, they have where you can download it from Google Play or the App Store. But they also, if you keep going down just a little bit more, make it where you can download it for other things as well. And then they also have all these features too. So you can go through all of them. There's 29 of the more features. Like one of them that's very handy for me is the split screen, where you can split your screen between two tabs. So you can be working side by side. Maybe you need to copy some information from one to an email that you're working on in your other tab. And so that would be very helpful for some of you. And then also they built in the tab emojis to make your tab stand out more with emojis and easily identify them. And then there's also a bunch of others that you can read through if you'd like. And here you go. If you scroll down a little bit more, you have the Opera browser for computers. And they have it for Windows and Mac OS and also Linux and then also Chromebook too. And you can read about each one of those if you want to. And if you keep going down, they also tell you about the Android and the iOS versions that you can click on and read those as well. But if you keep going down just a little bit further, right here is the button that we've been looking for. And they may have had one at the top as well, but I wanted to show you some of those really incredible features that they've included with Opera. So if you just click on this download now button, this is going to download that newest version as of right now, which is 117.0.5408.197. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on this little folder icon right here beside the opera setup.exe. And if I click on that, it's going to open up the downloads folder. Okay, so now you can see here's the opera setup. And it was downloaded today, and it's only 2 megabytes, a little bit over. And if I right-click on it, you can tell it to either install, or you can tell it to run as administrator. So instead of just opening it, I'm going to run it as administrator. Now, the reason I like to do that is just to make sure that when you're installing it, it has 
all the settings, all the permissions that it needs to put the files on the Windows computer right where it needs to go and it won't give you any error messages. Now, probably would work fine if you just told it to open, but I always like to do my installs by running it as administrator. Now here, I'm going to go ahead and click yes to allow this app to make changes to the device. And then it's going to bring up the Opera setup. So here you can see this is the Opera setup. So I'm going to go ahead and click on options right here. Now you can change where it installs to just by changing who you want to install it for. Now I'm going to leave my language as English United States because that's where I am. But you would want to choose the one that's appropriate for you. And then below it, the install for, instead of just the current user, I'm going to change this to all users on this computer. That way, no matter who sits down and uses this computer, you can have it for everybody that uses it. You can also do it where it's just a standalone installation and you can put it on a flash drive and that might be beneficial for you as well. Just make sure you have an empty flash drive so you can put it on that USB flash drive and you just plug it in whenever you need it. But I'm going to change mine to all users on this computer for right now. And then you can also import the bookmarks and data from the default browser. But I don't need to do that, so I'm going to leave it unchecked. But if you have a default browser and you want to move everything to Opera, that would be very helpful. And you can also help improve Opera by sending feature usage information. I'm going to leave it on, but you can turn it off if you don't want to have it. And then you can automatically send crash reports to Opera. Again, I'm going to leave mine on, but if you prefer, you can turn yours off. And then I am going to turn off this one where it runs when my computer starts. I only want to have it running when I tell it to open. So I'm going to turn that one off and then I'm going to click on accept and install. Then here you can go and choose whether you want to configure this in the settings, but it's going to send general usage statistics to help them improve the app general interest based on the articles that you read in the news feed, searches, and websites that you visit, and personalized content, news, and ads, typically within our news feeds. I'm going to go ahead and leave it all one and just click accept, but if you want to change it, just click configure and settings. But I'm going to click accept for now. And there you go. Now it's installing, and that's all you have to do to get the Opera installing on your computer. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close the Downloads window. And I'm also going to close the Microsoft Edge. And then all we have left is Opera installing at the moment. Now, depending on how fast or slow your computer is, would probably determine how quickly it's able to install and open the Opera after you downloaded it and started the setup and told it to start installing. But if you'll notice down here in the bottom right corner, it's asked me if I want to pin the Opera browser to my taskbar. Well, I'll go ahead and click yes for now. And if I do, now the Opera icon is going to stay down here even when it's closed. And then after you've gotten it installed, you can click on this Get Started button and it's going to go through the initial setup of Opera. So here it wants to know, is this your first time installing Opera? So I'm going to choose that I'm just coming back to Opera after not using it for some time because I have used it in the past. But this may be your first time. And if it is, just go ahead and say, yes, I'm new here. Or maybe you're just reinstalling it and you would want to click that one too. But again, I'm just going to click, I'm a returning user. Now here you can either do a light theme, you can do a dark theme, which if you'll give it a moment, it'll change it. See, it's dark now. Or you can just do whatever the system is doing. Now, I personally like the dark theme, but some of you may like the light theme or you may want it to go with the system. We'll just choose the preference that you prefer. 
and then go ahead and click on next. Now here it wants to know what start page wallpaper would you like to have? It's currently set to this one, but I can also choose this one. And I can also choose this one. Now, I personally like the middle one out of the three. So I'm going to go ahead and choose it and leave that as my start page wallpaper. And then I'm going to click next. But you would want to pick the one that you like and then go ahead and click next. Now here, I want to go ahead and block the ad. So I'm going to click this to turn on blocking ads. And what that's going to do is now it's not going to have any of those ads showing up when you go to certain web pages. Hopefully most of them. <laughs> and then you go ahead and click next. And then here, for right now, I'm not going to do any of the social apps. I'm just going to uncheck them. But you can go through and you can do Messenger, WhatsApp, Telegram, Instagram, TikTok, or even X. So you can choose any of those that you want to and it'll automatically help you get signed into those apps and it'll integrate it into the messenger for you. But I'm going to leave them turned off and just click next. And now you can import your data if you want to. I'm not going to import my data from anything because see, I only have Edge, but I don't want any of my Edge data imported. So I'm just going to click on later. And now it still wants to ask more questions. If you don't want to answer them, you don't have to. Just go up to the top and you can click on the little X on that tab and close it if you don't want to do the survey for them. And that's it. So now instead, you don't have to go through the get started again. I can just click on intro and I can go to any web page I want. So if I go to google.com, there you go. Now we're up and running inside of Opera with the Google web page pulled up. So now you can go and do any web page that you want. You can even do, a lot of people use this one, speedtest.net. And I'm going to press enter. And once I get there, I can just do a quick speed test to see how fast my internet connection is. And so that might be beneficial for you as well if you wanted to see how quick your internet was with that brand new clean installation of Opera on your Windows computer. You can just go to speedtest.net and just tell it to do a quick test and it'll tell you how fast your internet is. So I hope that was helpful on how you can get the Opera web browser installed on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer so that you can start browsing the web with the Opera web browser. If you do have any questions or you just need me to go into more depth about how to get this Opera web browser installed on your computer, please let me know down below in the comments and I will do my best to get back to you. And if there's a video, article, topic, anything you'd like me to create a video on, please let me know that down below in the comments as well and I will do my best to create that video for you. And if you found this helpful and you'd like to support this channel, I included a link down below in the video description where you can buy me a cup of coffee if you'd like to. And because you all do such a great job, if you can, hit that like and subscribe button so I can keep putting up more great content like how do I install the Opera web browser on my Windows 10 and Windows 11 computer and I'll be more than happy to keep putting up all this great content for you all. Thanks so much, everybody. I really appreciate you all. I hope you have a great day. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.